गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज़ ड्रेनेज सिस्टम टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिफरेंट ड्रेनेज पैटर्नस एंड टू मेजर ड्रेनेज सिस्टम्स ऑफ इंडिया वन इज हिमालयन ड्रेनेज सिस्टम एंड अनदर वन इज पेनसुलर इंडियन पेनसुलर ड्रेनेज सिस्टम so before we beg, uh, begin with our topic let me introduce what do we mean by drainage by drainage we mean that flow of a river channel in a particular direction or flow of a well defined channel is known as drainage uh, uh drainage develop because of slope slope is the major factor which is responsible for the development of a particular drainage now in india we have two drainage systems one is himalayan drainage system and another one is peninsular indian drainage system river indus river ganga river brahmaputra are the major river systems or river channels in himalayan drainage system and godavari krishna kaveri narmada tapi these are the major river channels in peninsular drainage system the drain uh, and the another way through which we can, uh, another way uh, basis for the division of indian drainage system is the east flowing drainage rivers and the west flowing rivers the west flowing rivers are those rivers which fall in arabian sea and the east flowing rivers are those rivers which fall in the bay of bengal as you can see here in this map that these oh, these are the west flowing rivers narmada tapi narmada tapi these are the west flowing rivers or indus is a major west flowing river and we have uh, many east flowing rivers which fall in bay of bengal like brahmaputra like ganga like mahanadi godavari krishna kaveri these are east flowing rivers now before we start our discussion about these different drainage system or these different river channels let's discuss about a drainage pattern drainage pattern by drainage pa pattern we mean that by drainage pattern we mean that that specific pattern which is developed because of the geological structure of a particular region because of the topography because of the slope and the rock structure etc a certain pattern develop uh, uh develop developed by these rivers and that pattern is known as drainage pattern and we have few important drainage patterns like first one is dendritic drainage pattern second one is radial drainage pattern third one is the trellis drainage pattern and the fourth one is centripetal drainage pattern there are several other drainage patterns also like centrifugal drainage pattern or uh, there are many more like rectangular like parallel drainage pattern so these are uh, different drainage patterns but in your book we have only four drainage patterns uh, which we are discuss uh, which we will discuss today and these are dendritic drainage pattern radial drainage pattern trellis drainage pattern and centripetal drainage pattern by dendritic drainage pattern we mean that when a river channel uh, and its tribut when a main river and its tributaries are resembling like tree and its branches they are resembling a tree and its branches then that particular drainage pattern will be known as dendritic drainage pattern and they are flowing uh, in certain way or they are making such uh, pattern such drainage pattern because of the hard or soft rocks which are available in that particular region and because of the slope of that particular region 
the example of such drainage pattern could be like ganga and its tributaries basically in such drainage patterns there is a main river and tributaries are joining this main river and their sub tributaries will join these tributaries and they will resemble like they will resemble tree and its branches okay so this is dendritic drainage pattern you can see the such drainage pattern in river ganga and its tributaries like this okay the next one is radial drainage pattern by radial drainage pattern we means that when a river originate from a hill and uh, then they flow into different directions that will be the radial drainage pattern for example you have a plateau and rivers are originating from this plateau and they are flowing into different directions like this this will be considered as radial drainage pattern in this direction they are moving so they are originating from a hill they are originating from an uplifted plain or a highland and they are flowing in different directions so this will be the radial drainage pattern for example uh, in chota nagpur plateau and in amarkantak you can see such drainage patterns the next one is trellis drainage pattern in such drainage patterns rivers will flow parallel to each other and their tributaries join them at right angle for example narmada and tapi let me show you that here we have river narmada and this is river tapi they are almost parallel to each other and their tributaries are joining them at right angle like river tawa and other uh, tributaries which join narmada and tapi they join them at right angle and these river are flowing almost parallel to each other so they are making trellis drainage pattern the next one is center petal drainage pattern when the rivers are originating from different places and they are falling in a depression you can see they are uh, uh, or a lake when the rivers are coming from different directions and they are falling into a lake or a depression that will be centripetal drainage pattern so basically we have four drainage patterns number 1 dendritic drainage pattern and the example for such river uh, drainage pattern is river ganga and its tributaries second is radial drainage pattern like chota nagpur plateau region here the rivers are originating and they are moving to the different directions and third third one uh, which we have is radi uh, trellis drainage pattern for example narmada and tapi in this the major river flow parallel to each other and they are joined by their tributaries at right angle the last one is centripetal drainage pattern in such drainage pattern river come from different direction in the fall in a lake or a depression for example uh, this drainage pattern where rivers are coming from the different directions like ganga from ganga and brahmaputra from this direction mahanadi then we have godavari uh, then we have krishna and then we have kaveri and from here also we have several rivers uh, uh, so these rivers are falling in a depression in a bay so this is the centripetal drainage pattern now i hope these four drainage patterns are clear to all of you now let's talk about two major river systems in india so these two major river systems are one is the rivers which are originating from himalaya okay and another one is the rivers which are flowing in peninsular india these are two major drainage patterns in india first we will talk about the rivers which are flowing in himalaya or which are originating in himalayan region these rivers are 
perennial rivers it means they flow throughout the year so these are perennial rivers which are flowing throughout the year uh because in uh, summer or in monsoon season they will get water from the rainfall and in uh retreat of monsoon or in uh, those areas when water uh, availability of water is less in that time period they will get water from the uh, snow cover of himalayas because snow will melt in uh, those periods and they will get water from there second these rivers are comparatively longer these uh, himalayan rivers are comparatively longer or they are serving a large land mass like ganga like brahmaputra like indus so they are flowing in a large area they are serving a long area then there are many tributaries for these rivers so this is about himalayan drainage system now if we talk about the peninsular river system so this peninsular river system we have the rivers which are not perennial these rivers are not perennials rather they are seasonal in summer they receive water uh, in uh, a monsoonal season they will receive water from the monsoonal rainfall but in summers when uh, there is scarcity of water wo kya hongi wo dry ho jayengi rivers second the area which they serve is comparatively smaller in comparison to himalayan rivers inka jo area hai wo chhota hai then these rivers are having less tributaries and apart from this these river uh, these rivers are having less trib uh, tributaries the major rivers of himalayan river system are indus river system ganga river system and brahmaputra river system these are the three major rivers of himalayan river system and in peninsular river system godavari mahanadi krishna kaveri narmada and tapi are major rivers so these are two different drainage systems now we can see the difference between these himalayan river systems and peninsular river system their place of origin the place of origin for himalayan river system will be himalaya and the place of origin for the peninsular river most of them originate from the western ghat but they are originating in from central highlands and eastern ghat as a few uh, rivers originate from the eastern ghat as well nature of flow as i told you that himalayan river system in himalayan river system rivers are perennial they receive water from glacier as well as rainfall and the peninsular river they are seasonal and they mostly depends on the monsoon the third one is types of drainage so the drainage uh, type for the himalayan river system is antecedent and consequent and be, uh, because of their antecedent and consequent drainage they uh, mostly form the dendritic uh, drainage pattern while the peninsular river systems are forming trellis radial and rectangular drainage patterns now if we uh, talk about this antecedent and consequent word so by antecedent we means ki jab aap slope ke opposite ja ke flow karte ho antecedent yani ki aap kya karte ho slope ko kaatte for example this is a mountain and a river originate from this region so it will make v shape valley it will cut this mountain and then flow in this direction okay so this is antecedent drainage so they are flowing in antecedent and consequent drainage system next one is nature of rivers as i told you that himalayan rivers are long and they flow uh, through the uh, their mountain rugged mountains and uh if we talk about the peninsular river system so they are uh, 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 these rivers are smaller in size and they have a fixed course 
and well uh, adjusted valleys now the next one is catchment area so the catchment area for the himalayan rivers is large while the catchment area for the peninsular rivers is comparatively small these himalayan rivers are there in either young age or in young stage they are youthful rivers while if we talk about the peninsular rivers so they are old they are uh, these rivers uh, these rivers are old rivers uh, and they are flowing in uh, because they are flowing in plateau regions which is a uh, lava plateau so uh, that's why they have a set drainage pattern and they are not do, uh, doing any uh, down cutting in this region now if we talk about the utility of river water as we all are aware that these are helpful in travel and tourism to attract the travel and tourism they are helpful in many economic activities right from agriculture to uh, some other economic activities they are responsible for uh, uh, transportation as well they are good source of transportation hame abhi pata hai ki national waterways develop ho rahe hain india mein national water waterway authority of india jo hai wo aapke national waterways develop kar rahi hain aur ye waterways hamare develop ho rahe hain river ke andar jaise humne abhi haldia se leke varanasi tak national waterway ko develop kara hai so this mode of transportation will be cheap in comparison to, uh, in comparison to some other mode of transportation so that's how they are useful and the most important purpose uh, we get drinking wa uh, drinkable water from these rivers apart from this jo sewage hai uske water uska water bhi hum log inhi ke andar drain karte hain which is not a good practice which is not a healthy practice but we are doing this and apart from this uh, many resources we can found in these rivers they help in uh, development of aquatic biodiversity they are very helpful in uh, development of aquatic uh, biodiversity like susu fish uh, uh, jo india ki jo akeli uh, fresh water uh, fish hai sh uh, shark hai wo hamari susu wo yahan pe hi milti hai isi region ke andar ye blind hai और ये अपने डिफरेंट सेंसरी ऑर्गन्स को यूज़ करके ये क्या करती है अपने प्रेज वगैरह या पे अटैक करती है या सरवाइव करती है नाउ वी हैव अ प्रोजेक्ट इन इंडिया एंड दैट प्रोजेक्ट इज गार्लेंट प्रोजेक्ट अंडर दिस गार्लेंट प्रोजेक्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट ऑल द रिवर्स ऑफ इंडिया इंक्लूडिंग द पेनसुलर रिवर्स एंड द हिमालयन रिवर्स एज आई टोल्ड यू दैट in peninsular regions we have those rivers which are seasonal in nature so ek particular season aisa hota hai jab yahan pe water ki scarcity hoti hai water available nahi hota hai in rivers mein so in that case yahan pe kisi bhi tarah ki agricultural activity economic activity karna possible nahi hota hai but if we speak about the himalayan rivers so ye kya hai hamari perennial rivers hai aur yahan pe bahut bada time period aisa hota hai saal ka jisme वाटर का ओवरफ्लो होता है और जिसकी वजह से फ्लड आता है लाइक इन बिहार बिकॉज ऑफ कोसी लाइक इन वेस्ट बंगाल बिकॉज ऑफ दामोदर सो हमारे यहाँ पे इस वजह से फ्लड्स आते हैं नॉर्थ इंडिया में जबकि ये वो रीज़न है हमारा जहाँ पे वाटर की स्केरसिटी होती है सो अंडर दिस प्रोजेक्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट ऑल दीज रिवर्स आई मीन वी आर वी आर ट्राइंग टू कनेक्ट हिमालयन रिवर्स विद पेनसुलर रिवर्स and by doing so we want to deal with two problems at once one is scarcity of water in southern states and another one is a uh, flood in the north, north indian states uh, by this garland project we are trying to divert the water of himalayan rivers to the peninsular regions so that we can deal with the problem of scarcity of water in peninsular india in summer season and at the same time we can deal with the problem of abundance uh, abundance of water overflow of the water in 
northern north indian states so this is how we, uh, we are trying to deal with our problem of flood and flood and scarcity of water and peninsular india or uh, himalayan states jo uh, himalayan rivers jo hai unko is garland project ke through hum log kya karne ki koshish kar rahe hain interlink karne ki koshish kar rahe hain but there uh, but there are many problems there are many complication in this project like uh, aapke jo rivers hain inko for example ye jo reason hai ye ek depression hai aur ye plateau reason hai to us water ko uplift karne mein problem aayegi इकोलॉजी बैल इकोलॉजिकल बैलेंस जो है इन रीजन्स का वो डिस्टर्ब होगा इसके अलावा क्या होगा कि आपका जो इकोनॉमिकली uh, भी ये फिजिबल नहीं है इसका कॉस्ट बहुत ज़्यादा हाई है सो दिस आर दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द ट्रेनेज सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग मी इन दिस क्लास हैव